This video is sponsored by Soundscape.io. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Gal. Today I'm showing you six creative masking techniques inside of Premiere Pro. And I hope that they inspire some creativity in your next edit. So we're gonna start with some text animations with mask and some text reveals. And then we're gonna go into some screen reflections, sky replacements, color corrections with mask and hiding identity. So before we jump in, a little bit about today's sponsor soundscape.io. It's a boutique music licensing service with authentic music for video. The best way to search their library is to select genre or mood. However, if you're not sure what genre of music you want, there is a new business genre that curates music that works great in company videos. Also, you can search by curated playlist. There's a new background music for YouTube section that focuses on playlists that work nicely in videos with dialogue, so the music doesn't interfere with what is being said. And right now, Soundscape is offering you an exclusive unlimited music deal giving you 25% off any plan. And the best part of this discount is that it's not just for the first month like other deals. It's an ongoing discount that will continue with all of your subscription renewals forever until you cancel. You can claim this deal and check out soundscape.io using my link below. And now on to the Premiere Pro tutorial. First, let's design a creative yet simple text animation with a mask. First, let's type out text. I'll type out hello. Then choose your preferred font and size and color. And then you can use the Essential Graphic Panel's alignment buttons here to align the text in the center of the screen. Now you can use the Rectangle Shape tool to draw a line shape underneath the text. You can also use the Horizontal Alignment button to make sure the line is centered. Let's also rename the shape to Line. Now it's time to create the mask and animate using the effect controls on the left. Underneath the Shape Line layer here, click on the Rectangular Mask tool. Then from the program monitor, just resize it to fit the entire line inside. Now go to the point where you want the line to appear in the animation. Then click the stopwatch next to mask path to set a keyframe and begin the animation. Next, move the playhead to the beginning. And then select the mask, and from the program monitor, just move the mask to the left off screen. Now from point A to point B, the line is revealed from left to right. Next, let's animate the text to look like it's coming up from out of the line. To do that, go to the text hello layer and open it up. Here we are going to click on the rectangle mask again, and this time adjust the size of the rectangle so it covers the text and the bottom of this mask intersects in the center of the line shape. Also drop the feathering down to zero on this mask just by typing in zero. And now we're going to keyframe the position of the text to go from down to up. Go to the point you want the text to be fully revealed and select the stopwatch icon next to position. Then move the playhead to the time you want the animation to begin. And move the vertical position down so the text disappears behind the mask. Now when we play it back, the line appears and then the text moves up from the line. To make the animation of the text coming up more smooth, you can select the keyframes and choose Ease In, and now it's more smooth. Let's do the same thing for the outro, but in the opposite direction. From the text, set a keyframe for when you want the outro animation to begin, then move the playhead to when you want the text to disappear, and then move the vertical position down until it's out of the frame. Next, go back to the shape line layer. Set a keyframe for the moment you want the animation to begin. Then move the playhead to the point you want the line to disappear. Then select the mask and from the program monitor, move the mask shape to the right. Now it animates in and out. Now on to the text reveal with a mask. Here I have a video of a boat moving from left to right. Let's say that as it moves, you want the text to be revealed. This can be used for opening title credits. So first let's type out some text. I'm going to type directed by, and I'll use a smaller font size and a thinner font face. And I'll rotate it slightly to be aligned with the boat. Then I'm going to type out another layer, Premiere Gal. And I'll make it a little bit bigger and in a bolder font face. Then I'm going to rotate it and place it so it's nicely in line with the boat's direction. 
And now we're going to change the duration of this text layer in the timeline to match the same duration as the boat video. Then move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and let's select the text layer and go up to effect controls. Here, go to our opacity layer and we're going to use the pen tool to quickly draw a mask around the shape of the boat. Once that's done, select the inverted box and this will hide the text. Next, we need to animate this mask to move with the boat. To do that, select the stopwatch next to the mask path, then move the playhead to the end of the clip, and then from the program monitor, move the mask path to the boat's new position. Now when we play it back, you'll see that it's not perfect, so we're going to make some more minor adjustments. As you move the playhead and you see that it begins to have an error, select the mask path and move it to correct it and it will make a new keyframe. So I'm going to quickly make some more corrections until it's done. And now we have the reveal, but to make the text look more like it's moving with the water, go to effects and search for wave warp and now drag and drop it on the text layer. Right now it's way too wavy, so we need to lower the height to around two and change the width to be wider, like around 70. And then we can lower the speed. Let's slow it down 2.5 and then hit enter to render it out. And we have our final effect. Now we're on to the reflection mask. Here's a shot of a woman with glasses on. Now, if you're making a sci-fi film, it might be cool to add some cool coating reflection in the glasses. I'm going to place this video clip on top of the glasses clip in the timeline. Now let's go ahead and resize this clip and position it inside of the glasses and also reduce the opacity to around 60% so it's more transparent and realistic. Now we need to make sure to scrub to the beginning of the clip, then underneath effect controls, underneath opacity, I'm going to free draw a mask around the lens using the pen tool. Remember to click and hold to make a curved mask line. And once it's done, you can add some feathering, let's say around 30, Next, I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add. It looks great here, but as I scrub through, you can see that there's a little bit of movement to the video. So we need to keyframe the mask path to move with the video. So from mask path, select the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And as you scrub through, just move the mask path to correct it. So I'll quickly go ahead and do that. And here's our final result. And next is the sky replacement. Here I have this fairly gray shot of Cannon Beach in Oregon. But what if I wanted to add more vibrancy and replace the sky? Well, this is where we can use a mask. First, with this shot, we need to draw a mask around the sky area. This part will take the most time, so it's important to take the time to draw an accurate mask as close to the edges as possible. I'm going to quickly fast forward through this as I draw the mask. And once you close off the last point of the mask, you're going to want to invert the mask. And now the sky will be transparent. If you go to the wrench tool from the program monitor and select transparency grid, now you can see that it's transparent. You can also adjust the feathering and mask expansion until the mask looks more realistic around the edges. Now let's move this layer to video layer two and place our replacement sky behind. Once it's in place, you can see that this replacement doesn't really match the beach in color. So what we can do is make some adjustments with Lumetri Color. 
First, we're going to select the beach layer on video layer two, go to Lumetri, and let's add in some vibrancy to the shot. Then underneath creative looks, we can choose a preset. I like the Kodak 5218-2395, and I'm going to reduce the intensity using the slider to be around 60. Then from the sky shot on video layer two, we can also add the same Kodak 5218 and change it to around 60% intensity. And now we have our final shot, and this was the before, and this is after. And the fifth creative effect is color correcting videos with a mask. Here I have a shot of a woman being interviewed. Let's say you want to brighten her face, but you can see that the background in the window is already really overexposed. So if we increase the exposure slider from Lumetri Color, you can see that it makes the background even more overexposed. But what if you just want to isolate this exposure to just her face? This is where masking comes in. So keep the exposure up, and now from effect controls under Lumetri Color, we can quickly draw a mask around her face. And we can add some feathering, I'm going to choose around 40, and then instead of doing it manually frame by frame, we can press the play button so Premiere can track the mask to follow the movement of her head. And once it's done, we can scrub through and you can see Premiere did a pretty good job at tracking her face. So let's play it back and I'll turn the effects button on and off to see the before and after. And lastly, hiding identity with a mask. Here we have this behind the scenes shot, but let's say this guy here didn't give permission to show his face. No problem, just go to effects, search for Gaussian blur and apply it to the video. Then from effect controls, we're going to increase the blur up to 70%, but this is going to make the entire shot blurry. Instead, we need to isolate this just to the face. To do that, select the circular mask icon underneath Gaussian blur. Then from the program monitor, you can change the size to be around his face. Once you're done, you can also play around to see if you need to expand the mask so it covers his face if he moves slightly, so that way you don't have to deal with any keyframing. You can also play around with the feathering until it's just right. And those are the six creative masking techniques. So I hope that you guys start using these creative masking strategies in your own videos. And if there's any other masking techniques out there that I did not cover that you want me to cover in a future video, just leave a comment below. But yeah, that's it for this video. And just once again, a huge shout out to soundscape.io for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my link below to get 25% off lifetime of their unlimited music library. And some of their tracks are pretty cool. I used all of their music in this video. So that's it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.